Hi everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm uh, actually I'm getting ready for bed. It's nighttime right now as I'm filming this. Um, I received products from the face shop. Their clean face line. It's meant for combination and oily skin. Um, and I don't know if the camera's picking up right now, but my mirror is pretty much. Uh, an oil slick. It's the end of the day. I'm on vacation right now, so I'm not wearing any makeup, um, and I didn't blot throughout the day either. So this is really what my face looks like after a full day of just, you know, well, in my case, playing with my daughter. Um, so I have their acne solution foaming cleansing. Sorry, I was going to say cleanser, but it's foaming cleansing, and I have their mild toner, and then I have their oil oil free moisturizing cream for acne prone skin so i'll be uh, getting rid of these i've been using them for about three weeks now so i feel like i have a pretty good idea of how they work for me and i'll be kind of uh sorry i'll be letting you know what i think about them at the end so for now i'm just gonna kind of go through my routine and show you the other products i use as well because obviously i need a few more products than just those so whether i wear makeup or not i always do kind of a pre-cleanse and I just happen to have these olive uh, face wipes from the face shop. I bought these, uh, I bought them myself, I think it was like over a year ago, but I opened them up not too long ago, maybe a month or so ago, and I really like them. They, they smell fresh. Um, I don't find that they leave a residue on my face, because I've tried others that kind of leave a residue. So, um, so when I wear makeup, obviously I do this to kind of remove my eye makeup and just kind of a first layer of product from my face but when I just when I don't have makeup I just like to remove the excess oil that my face produced because I find the cleanser works better if it's not fully oily so I'll usually I'll usually either use micellar water or a face wipe so tonight I chose a face wipe and there you go so now my face is ready for cleansing. And also, I just, it's the only thing I use on my eyes. I don't use my cleanser on my eyes. I don't know if people do that, but I just find it too harsh for my eyes. So I always clean my eyes, like I said, with the wipe or with the micellar water. And now, next step for me, I hate it when water drips down my arms when I'm washing my face, because I always look at myself in the mirror. So I've started wearing um, wrists, I forget the word now, I'm drawing a blank, but these things. <laughs> so that's how I wash my face. So the first step, obviously, get it wet. And I always wash my hands after I do this, just to remove the excess oil that they might have accumulated from getting them wet, because I just find a cleanser works better. Not, not this one, just in general. Cleansers work better if your hands are clean as well. So this one, you don't need a lot. It lathers really well. And this is actually more than I usually use. So, sorry, I'll try to get close so you can see what it looks like. So this is what the cleanser looks like. And I usually use a little less than this because you really don't need a lot of this one. And the more you wash with it, the more it lathers. And you can just, you can actually feel it like between your hands and your face. It feels really, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it feels really creamy actually. As weird as it sounds, it's, it's creamy and it's like the more you wash, the more it lathers and it just, it feels really nice. So, this is how I wash my face. I don't apply a lot of pressure, it's just just as long as, you know, I can feel my fingers on my face, but I don't press hard, even though my skin is kind of moving all over the place. And there we go, now it's time to rinse. But yeah, this cleanser feels really nice, really creamy, and like I said, you don't need a lot. all rinsed off. So, now. Alright, now I'm just 
get the little hairs on my face. Now this cleanser, when you rinse it off, like your face feels really squeaky clean. Sorry, I'm kind of interrupting myself mid-sentence. So your face, oh. sorry, I felt like I had an eyelash in my eye. Um, your face feels really squeaky clean, like when you're rinsing and you're, you know, rubbing your, your face with your hands. But once you're done, like it doesn't feel tight or anything. So, cause I, when I, the very first time I used it, when I was rinsing my face, I thought, ooh, this is really like squeaky clean and it's going to feel really tight when I'm done. But my face feels really nice when I'm done. Take, oops, <laughs> take these off and I'm just going to blow my nose cause you know, water gets in there. So I'll be right back. Alrighty. So I'll just always get little hairs in my face. So next thing I do now, this product is not from the face shop, but eye cream. I always moisturize my eyes. This is the Marcel Essentials First Wrinkle Eye Contour Cream. Um, I really like it. So I put about this much on my finger. So you know, just do just a little oh, like that, and then I just. Put it around and it's I apply very light pressure just enough to say that I'm touching my skin tap it around a bit I don't put it on my eyelids I have really oily eyelids so I just put it underneath which is where I usually feel it and then once I'm done I just take the excess and put it around my lips off my fingers all right so now the next step in the uh, face shop products is the toner so I use a cotton pad because this is it's like water it really it's clear and see, I'll, I don't know if the camera will see that but it's just it's clear like water so I just soak a cotton pad and just apply it everywhere So I will say, um, I'm just about to start my period, so my hormones are kind of acting up right now, which they usually do around this time of the month. So I'm having a breakout. I'm full of zits and spots and stuff. So. Alrighty. That was step two. I always rinse my hands after every step as well. And then, last but not least, is the moisturizer. They call this the moisturizing cream. It has a little cover when you take remove the top. I, I always keep those things in, but um, I'll just show you the inside. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on that. It's, well, as you can see, it's white. I find it's like a gel cream. Here, I'll show you. It's This is what it looks like. Sorry. I'm not used to the lighting in my washroom. But as you can see, it's kind of, it's a gel cream, you know, it's a mix between a gel and a cream. So the only thing is it's a container and you have to go get it with your finger. And I know some people don't like that because it's not really, uh, was the word I'm looking for, hygienic, sanitary. But I mean, you are doing this with clean fingers, so it's not that bad. And then I just swish it around. I have to say the very first time I used this, um, I, I didn't think it would be enough to moisturize my face, but once I was done, my very first uh, reaction was that my skin looked really plump. Um, and that's good. <laughs> it was very moisturized, it felt very good, did not feel dry or tight at all, and it, like I said, it just looked plump. Um, and it still does when I use it. I mean, obviously the camera probably doesn't pick up on that, but it my like my skin looks like it looks great. It feels great. Um, I don't know what else to say, but it, it's it's really moisturizing because I find a lot of times products for combo skin tend to dry me out, but uh, that one feels great. So overall. Um, I didn't notice 
uh, an improvement in the oily the, the amount of oil my skin produces when I wake up in the morning my skin is not as oily as it used to be with the previous products I used and throughout the day I find it takes a little longer before I have to go and blot um, when I work like when I wear makeup stuff makeup and stuff blah, blah. Um, so I do find that it did help with uh, oil control it's not like a 24 hour thing because I, I don't know if my, like I said I don't know if the camera picked up on it but my my face was quite oily but I did not blot a single time today so that that's why as well but I do find that it delays um, the oil seeping through during the day and like I said when I wake up in the morning my face is not as oily as it used to be so that's a really nice thing um, the only thing one of the major things I don't like is that this the moisturizer does not have SPF in it so you do need to use something else for the, uh, the daytime to uh, protect against the sun but other than that I really like these products they've been working well um, they talk about acne solution and for acne prone skin I don't think that it did anything for my acne um, like I said I'm having a major breakout right now I mean it always happens around this time of the month this is the hormones and stuff um, but even like I said it's been almost three weeks that I've been using it and before I started PMSing it's I really didn't notice like it didn't really do anything for my acne um, but it did work for oil control so if you have oily skin but don't have acne problems I really recommend you give these products a try because like I said they really work for me in terms of oil control but as for acne control um, I would stick to something else uh, if you're using something else because these did not really do anything for me for my acne but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it that's how I get ready for bed every night and uh, yeah if you want more information about the products uh, look in the description below I will have a full blog post with all the information um, but obviously these can be purchased at the face shop uh, they open stores throughout Canada and also online so yeah well that's pretty much it love the products um, for oil control but not for acne and all right I'm just gonna go to bed now because I'm obviously tired and I keep talking for some reason so thanks for watching have a good night bye